The president of New Mexico's largest college campus is reflecting on a very different year. Today, she announced UNM's goals for 2021 in her virtual State of the University address. News 13's Jackie Kent is live from home with the details. Jackie. A main theme was how the university adjusted to the pandemic, thanking the health sciences staff who have been working on the front lines and commending UNM faculty and students for their work. We had to change the way classes were held, ensure vital research continued, and do everything we could to support our Lobos as we all adjusted to what has been called the new normal. UNM President Dr. Garnett Stokes says one of the biggest hurdles for students while remote learning was finding adequate internet or a laptop, with UNM providing hundreds of laptops and Wi-Fi hotspots. She says there's more work to be done when it comes to bolstering campus safety, including the ongoing search for a new campus police chief. Meanwhile, UNM is reevaluating its spending priorities for 2021. When the state's budget for the fiscal year was revised, that cut UNM's and the Health Sciences Center's budget by $44 million. As a result, we have greatly slowed hiring of the essential staff and faculty who are the heart and soul of the university. We've restructured offices and reallocated budgets to protect the core of our academic mission. It wasn't all grim news. Dr. Stokes highlighted the noteworthy work of UNM's Health Sciences Center in tackling the pandemic. They've been identifying and testing potentially life-saving therapies to treat COVID patients and using a 3D printer to make masks and shield, to name a couple of projects. Now, despite the pandemic, the fall 2020 freshman class enrollment was actually 7% higher than it was the previous year. Back to you. All right, thank you, Jackie. Four and six year graduation rates reached highs of 35 and 56% for the May 2020 class. Dr. Stokes says, that still isn't enough. 